So now, the Great Accra Chairman of the National Democratic Congress, Adekoka, has waded into the controversy and has called on the leadership of Parliament to institute full-scale investigations into the bribery allegations against Energy Minister Bwache Ejakon as it cuts doubt on his integrity. He was speaking on Saturday edition of TV3's New Day. Boko Central Member of Parliament, Mahama Ayariga, alleged on Accra-based Radio Gold on Friday that the Energy Minister, Bwache Ejakon, sent money to the minority members of the appointment committee in an attempt to influence them. Speaking on New Day, NDC Greater Accra Chairman called on leadership of the House to launch investigations into the bribery allegations against the newly sworn-in Energy Minister, Bwache Ejakon. This thing must be investigated mm -hmm. seriously. Because we are talking about the Parliament of Ghana. The Parliament of Ghana. Money has come into some people's hands. The person is saying that the money did not come from the parliamentary system, it came from somewhere. We must investigate where the money came from. Economic analyst Joe Jackson also shared similar sentiment. It cannot, should not under any circumstances, be swept under the carpet. Not at all. It should be investigated in full. But member of the NPP communications team, John Kuma, questioned the basis of the bribery allegations made against Bwache Ejako, asking MP for Boko Central, Mahama Ayarga, to table concerns to parliament and not in the media. Assuming that the minority group was bribed, mm -hmm. what is the leadership of the minority doing? Is that a way to handle it? Okay. Being a lawyer and knowing the consequences of this allegation, this scandalous allegation, mm -hmm. this libellous allegation, that's, is that how to handle it? To run to Radio Gold when you have leadership in Parliament? Although leadership of Parliament has urged the public to disregard claims by a Boko Central Member of Parliament, Mahama Ayarga still stands by his claims.